Ayo, Tixovia. Has been a while that we did a bird. So the main reason basically for bird is that on Tuesday we are going to get two new relics where we actually require the wind sources. That's why we are going to redo. Um, has been a, definitely a long time when I redid a bird guide with, in my opinion, the best team. And in my opinion, the best team is going to be with Tamiel. The main reason for Tamiel is basically that he evens out pretty much this passive. If we wouldn't have this passive, we would have insane stat increase. Did I say deer again or what? But well, um, so basically for bird, he's going to be the best unit. And also, I think if you guys see Kusak, you guys are aware. As long as you guys have like a 3-6 Kusak, he does an abyss damage. And that is going to be enough in order to move from floor to phase two without any issues. And now I will show you guys how good it's going to be um, in floor three. So the cool thing about Tamiel as well is basically he's going to always heal himself up whenever he gets attacked. And also he mainly usually gets targeted because if our melee has enough stacks and has more health, he never gets targeted unless it's like, for example, a debuff. So the AI is switching up a little bit or also... Um, the others, they don't get targeted because they are blue units and the deer and the bird is red. Yeah, guys, um, that's how long it has been with bird that I always say deer because yeah, basically, um, I don't do that shit anymore. I have 30 ready already, but I wanted to make a video still. Hey, Bob2, how's it going? So as you can see, also, we are streaming live on Twitch, so eventually make sure to check it out if you are interested to participate in the live chat or um, join our Discord channel. So here as you can see, he um, heals up with a passive so he doesn't die, which is very, very nice without even using a card of him. So we just do this for now. Um, unfortunately, the cleanse is always cleansing the last thing away. So we keep the blockade. We can't use the two-star card, very unfortunate. But I would say we just burn this, this, and I guess we just burn the melee card. Um, in order to increase our heal, we could also, for example, buff first and the heal would be much, much stronger, but I don't think it's that necessary. Maybe it might have been not that bad because, um, as you can see, our... Um, I don't even remember her name. Wait a second. What was her name? What was this, this girl's name again? <laughs> um, fuck. Magelda, exactly, yeah, 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 Magelda. Um, dead, like, no damage. Oh, damn. Okay, here, very unfortunate that we are sealed again. This is kind of annoying, so I would say we actually just buff here for now, since um, there's no other cards we can use, and we might actually kill like this. With a buff, it is possible. The unfortunate thing is that the buff only stays for one turn, unless it's golden. Okay, maybe we don't kill. But if he has the ult here now already, he will only attack twice, which is a good thing as well. So let's see. I hope he had the ult already, because, yay, Ayo, I, I really don't want Tamiel to die. But it doesn't look like he's going to die, because now he heals up a little bit, and, oh yeah, this is just a debuff, so he had actually the ult already. Um, And now we can just kill without any issues, so we just do this, we do this, we definitely don't want to use the ult of Kusak in this turn, so I would say what we're going to do is we're going to burn the Magelda attack card, Um, that won't harm, so that we have the power strike ult. That will be helpful and now we can just break through so in my opinion still until now phase one is the most annoying one because he's so tanky we are getting um blocked uh the blockade on so we can't really use proper cards so i would say we're going to just heal up for now um we're gonna use the ult first so that we can actually use this card and because we can't use anything else we do this maybe merging the tamiel might have been not that bad as well but we get the tamiel ult anyways already so no no need to do that um, the only unfortunate thing is now he gets into the steel skin state where when we attack into him, if we don't kill immediately, we lose our, um, or we, we get the pumpkin bomb, the two star pumpkin bomb, no, actually the golden pumpkin bomb, uh, pumpkin bomb on, I think. So where we lose two ult gauges for two turns, which is super annoying. But I think, um, as long as we attack with this, this should one shot. And now we can also... Uh, there's no need for this card. There's no need for this card. And I would say we're going to um, move one time here. So now we can just basically break through. Damn, this video might be a little bit too short than I expected. Because Bird is actually too easy now. Especially with Magelda. So if you don't have Magelda, um, definitely make sure to vote for Magelda. And also for Jomogant. So, okay. um, We just use this. We are going to use this. This and... 
I guess burning one melee card won't harm at all. And hopefully we draw more me uh, melee cards. Why did I say Merlin? Um, more melee cards. Basically melee does the damage cap without any issues if he has a lot of stacks. And this team is full of single target users. So he does quite a lot of damage. But yeah, the, the stat down is really annoying. Okay, nice. We have a buff. That's not bad. We have two single targets of melee. That's really good. I think... I, I don't even remember. Does Kusak do the damage cap? I think he does, right? So if we just buff Kusak ult and double single target, that should kill. I think. But we also get the ult of melee. So we should just merge here. I think. Um, We should try to kill. So we just do this. This... And this, this should kill the deer in this turn, I think. If not, that's gonna be annoying. This should kill, right? Okay, good, 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 it killed. And now you guys will see the power of our Tamiel. Okay, revive passive, revive passive, annoying. So I should have probably kept the one star, but it's, it's fine. So we're going to just buff. The thing is, now I don't want to kill yet, you know? So we do this. Did I say D again? Who cares? You guys know what I mean. Um, And then we are going to, I would say, just use the Dissolve for now. Because else we do too much damage. And um, the more health the bird has, the stronger he is. So basically he has the Merlin passive, the lowly Merlin passive. And that's why we don't want to kill yet. It might kill though. It's because we do too much damage because of... Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, here as you can see, um, it's basically mainly, in my opinion, Tami is crazy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. In my opinion, Tami is just definitely the number one unit um, for deer, especially for speed farming. Levi is in, has a different opinion, but like, I think there's not, no units which is, can um, be as good as him. So now we can actually kill one time so that we are going to proc the passive. This should, this should proc, and now we just double attack with melee, and the bird is done. There's no way he doesn't crit, right? He has he has enough stacks. Okay, good. Yes, you can see. Um, yeah, but who, who cares if he's dead? If you easily beat it, who who, who cares? You know, and it, it, it's the revive passive. Revive passive is one of the harder stuff so yes you can see um i have 30 ready already so definitely if this was helpful or you enjoyed watching this make sure to subscribe because i just did this for you guys okay but yeah thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now